speaking from experience, I have had fares that are borderline suspicious. When they get into the car, I pray that the only thing they're carrying is their handbags. And I mean no bed bugs. That's the last thing I want. Bed bugs in the car or at home. So I created this tip so it can help me and help you. As you can see, I'm gonna be using a glue board, something that you can get at the local store. I cover the the logo, the brand, because I don't want nobody to come over and be like, Seven Antonio, why? Why you use our product without noticing us? So I don't want none of that. Um, but I'm using it because, uh, especially this brand, because uh, I believe it's uh, one of the best brands out there. The glue that they use is very strong. It's something that you want. Uh, otherwise, if you don't get uh, glue that are strong enough, any pest or animal that you try to monitor uh, will definitely uh, not get stuck to it because the glue is not strong enough so you want glue that is strong enough to trap uh, or monitor uh, whatever you're trying to monitor usually it lasts for a couple months depending on the condition where you place it if it's moist uh, it will it will last less and if it's dry it will last a little longer i would say probably around two to three two to three months and then after that, start the, the potency starts going down, the glue potency uh, starts diminishing. So at that point, you have to replace it. The preparations here. So what you do is just fold it with whatever the with whatever the line is. You can see there's another line. There's another line here. It's another line here. You just fold it into a into a small box. There you go. Now you have a small box. First, you gotta do this. And then after you do this, after you use the the lines to make the box, you fold them, fold them, and then at this point, that's when you remove it and you have yourself a box and just put it together here. Insert this into this slot and boom. I'm only going to use four for today's demonstration but you can do as many as you hard desires placement is very key you have to know exactly how they move and what direction you suspect they might be moving or shifting so that's why i'll be showing you today exactly where to place them so that way you'll be more successful you place it this way so now it's in place see that now it's in place you come back here the fluffy part again and now you're going to put it horizontally bed bugs and other uh, insects usually travel uh, against the wall to protect themselves uh, you just place it against the wall as far as possible make sure you, you hit the wall there you go the base of the the base of the seat in case they travel uh, outward uh, towards you uh, it gets caught it's been a pleasure sharing this video with you don't forget to give it a thumb up or subscribe because the next bug could be yours. But professor!